Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to compare the Patagon's mobile game default graphics settings comparison between the IQ7 device versus IQ Neo 6 device. So both phones do have the same Snapdragon 870 uh, processor and since I'm getting so many comments asking me to compare both phones, so I thought of doing this video side by side. As you can see, both phones are exactly the same Snapdragon 870 processors at this moment. And let's get started friends, which phone can actually play at 90 FPS and what are the different settings you can actually get between these both phones while playing the Patagon's mobile game. That's what this video is all about. So first let's take a look at the default settings of the iQOO Neo 6 device since a lot of users are actually planning to buy this uh, smartphone at this moment so this might be the clear idea and right now as you can see the iQOO Neo 6 which has got the 90 fps so this is the only phone from the iQOO under 30,000 you can actually play at 90 fps yes actually that's uh, true because if you want to uh, spend more money there is another model which is iq7 legend with the 90 fps in the iq smartphone after that iq9 device also supports 90 fps by default without any game for interpolation nothing at all by default i'm trying to talk about so if you are looking for the lowest priced iq smartphone for 90 fps under 30k this will be the device which is the iq neo 6 smartphone so where is the iq7 so which has got the snapdragon 870 same snapdragon 870 but still the iq did not give any 90 fps update for this iq7 device that's something uh, kind of sad part to know because this phone released one year back right so from one year they could have done the update but they did not do it they left this iq7 device so by default you will be getting these other graphics you can actually play it as you can see by default so friends if you want to uh, plan if you are planning to buy the device definitely the iq neo 6 has got slightly uh, good choice at this moment because of this 90 fps gameplay and rest of the things are completely similar uh, between these both phones nothing much huge difference you're gonna notice regarding the settings and options like 4d vibrations esports voice changer everything is completely similar to the iq7 same options you'll be getting as you can see guys same options you can actually get between these both phones so you won't be able to see much kind of difference at this moment as you can clearly see your friends so there is an eagle eye mode instead of like a display setting mode some that's something slightly new but that's not a uh, huge difference i would say that will increase a little bit of brightness but not much in the dark environment but anyway but overall if you want to play at 90 fps this iq neo 6 has got it covered with the 90 fps and gyro sensor is also working like uh, not bad pretty good as you can see and haptic feedback both phones are like really fantastic haptic feedbacks nothing much huge complaints about that haptic feedback not much complaints But definitely friends, in case if you want to play it 90 FPS, then iQ Neo 6 is a really good one. Even the iQ 7 is also a really uh, good one, but the only thing is that because nowadays a lot of viewers are actually planning to buy the gaming smartphones, it's better to buy the 90 FPS which the phone has got. And haptic feedbacks in this device are pretty stronger than the iQ Neo 6 device. Yes, that's actually true because after the iQ 7 device, iQ did not make any other smartphone as, pow pow as powerful as this device. That's what I did notice in my usage because iQ7 device has got really very good powerful haptic feedback left and right both powerful haptic feedbacks in the iQ7 device. But let me know in the comments below friends what are your thoughts on this one and it's a quick uh, comparison between these both phones. So stay tuned for, for more updates and uh, and make sure to follow the playlist as well for more information. So until then signing off friends, thank you for watching and bye.